Hey, I wanted to tell you about some updates to the Teal Resume Builder. We've been working hard to make it a bit more usable and easier to get going with the platform. So let's dive in. What you'll notice when you log into the Teal Resume Builder now is that all the sections except the work experience are collapsed by default. You could expand them and collapse them before, but by default they were open. So I don't think it was as obvious that, it could, that you could do that. This is gonna make it easier to move up and down through all the sections of your resume. We do store this for you as well. So if there's sections you're working on more often, when you come back, it'll be the same. Uh, but it should make it easier to navigate this really long career history as you add all the awesome things you've done in your career onto your career history. On the same theme of expanding and collapsing, you can now expand and collapse companies. That's where a lot of the content is and that becomes really long. So this should make it a little easier to work on one company at a time while still being able to collapse the companies. This takes us to our next theme, which is reordering information. By them being nice and collapsed, it's going to make it really easy to reorder them if you did need to do that. We still highly recommend reverse chronological order, but there may be times that you need to do that. That also applies to the positions within the company. If you need to reorder those, you can click and drag those and put positions. But if you put on sort by date, they will automatically sort by reverse chronological order. In the same idea of sorting, now when you hover over the achievements, they have a nice uh, shading to, to describe them, and then you get the handles. You could always do this before, but now it's a little more obvious, the interface is a little less intrusive, uh, and it should make it easier. You can click anywhere on the achievement, but the handles should make it a little clearer that that's possible. Next thing we've done is we've moved all of the language from achievement to bullet. Uh, we still think you should write them in an achievement form. They're the accomplishments that you've had in your career, but bullet is kind of more understood as a resume bullet. It's a bulleted list. And so now everywhere that it did say achievement now says bullet. So if you want to add a bullet to your resume, you can click here and go ahead and save it. And that will add it in again, draggable, just like all the others. The forms have been updated as well to be a bit more accessible and clear and crisper and consistent. That's all in the career history. So you can see you can see what's active and what's not. And so that's another update that we did. Uh, we did it to all of the forms on the platform. We've also made some of these buttons a little more obvious. They were there on hover. So at a company, if you want to add a position, just click the plus and you can add another position while you were there. If you want to edit the company, you can. And this is also where you can add a company description. This has been here, it's been a little hidden, but when you add one, then you can put this little blurb of text under the company name and put in a little bit of a better description of what the company did. Or you could use it if you wanted to, you know, put in a little summary. Uh, we recommend it as company description, but use it how you'd like. Lastly, we've got some changes to the skills section. We've had many requests to be able to delete skills in bulk. And since we already have the checkbox for disability, we thought the easy way to do it would be to just delete inactive skills. So if you go ahead and clean up, just have the ones you want on, and then the ones you want to delete in bulk, leave them unchecked, hit delete, and it'll delete your inactive skills. So there's a lot of nice little polishing and cleaning up happening, but I'd say those are the major changes to the interface. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know. We are determined to make the best software for you to land a job and grow your career. So we get better by hearing from you. So again, thank you so much and good luck with your job search.